Check one, two. Oh, <laughs> check, check it, check. It's check, been a check. while since I wore headphones doing this. <clears throat> sounds great. It sounds better, right? We when sound, you wear the headphones. Look, I knew we sound huh? did amazing, but I didn't know it sounded this good. Does sound good. Where's the listeners? <laughs> <laughs> If they only came on sound quality, we'd have millions, say. Eh? If they only knew what they were missing out. Oh, God. They know what they're missing out. That's yeah. why they're not coming. <laughs> and it's great acoustics <laughs> down here in the Huntsman studio. Studio. So you got studio. lots today? Yeah, actually, I've got, um, I came prepared today. Good. You got more than the standard New Year's resolutions and. Yeah. Thanks for the coffee. And chatter. You're welcome. By the way. Should open it. That was a good, uh, <coughs> good texturing this morning. It was, eh? You were offering up coffee, and I, I was almost going to take it. And yes, you said it's better than Tim's, and then I was almost ready to commit, and thought I'd ask if he had cream because I, I know you're just a sugar guy. Yeah, you asked if it was better than Tim's, and I yeah. said yes because it's McDonald's. Yeah, but it's home McDonald's. Home McDonald's. You like it, eh? Yeah, but no cream. Uh, we might no have some cream up there. We oh. might. Well, now you're saying that. No, I, I said I, I said uh, I'm not. We don't have coffee. Oops. No. Oh. Don't drop your phone. We might ha we don't have coffee cream, but we have like I think we have like eighteen percent cream. That's fine. Cream's cream. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, because I would have I would have gave it a shot maybe. Yeah. Oh next, well. Next time. Next time. Next time. Uh, yeah. Because I make a mean coffee. Yeah. Could have made you a good one. I probably, yeah, probably would have enjoyed it. Yeah. I would have enjoyed it more than paying $4 a pop every time. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, well, I got lots. You got lots. We're going to just get rolling here. We might as well hit the, uh, the trails. All right. Warning. This podcast will be an injurious waste of your time. Warning. This podcast will be an injurious waste of your time. Yeah, good morning. I'll take a medium with two sugar and a medium regular, please. Live from <laughs> the Huntsman Studio in downtown Canada South, it's what? DDT and Duff. Duff, how are you? I'm good. Good. First of all, I should apologize. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't even know what to apologize for. Maybe just, uh, <laughs> maybe just this podcast in general. Mm. You know, Go, I, and so in its fourth season, that's an apology right there. Fourth season. Apologize eh? to the listener. Fourth season, but fifth year probably. Eh? Start of our fifth year. No, it's fourth year. Start, Start of the fourth, of the fourth year. year. Yeah. Yeah, you we sure started. About that? The, maybe the third year. Did we start uh, 2021? Oh, January 2021. 2021. Yeah. It's only a third year. Yeah. Oh, time flies. Does. <laughs> <laughs> or doesn't <coughs> in this case. So, so no, uh, so apologies for that. Yeah, that's fine. So you yeah. said you did some research. You got some stuff research. today. You oh, I didn't some... do research, but I got oh. topics. Okay, you just did some planning. Yeah. What Should do you we got? talk about uh, JB and why he's not here first? That's on my list. Yeah, the... Yeah. I've well, he's often not here. That's but, true. But uh, flying out of stateside airports versus flying yes. locally. Yes, it's an it's a topic. I bet you we could spend a show on. Yeah, you know what? We've talked a lot about travel. We've we talked have. a lot about flying, and now people are you know back at her and yeah. you know trying to save ten cents and fly out what's, of here and there. What's the and only everywhere. thing? What's oh. the only thing that you don't have more of? time exactly ah that's your main thing that's yeah. right yeah i don't fly a lot and i got to th i'm always thinking i'll do well, let's just fill the good listener in here first of all like we're, <laughs> we're talking like everybody knows what we're thinking exactly our good buddy jb yeah took a well-deserved holiday with the family fact checker on the show yeah fact checker and he got the family down to florida yeah no doubt to stay with more family, I'm sure. I think he was staying with his mom. His mother's yeah, place. She kay. has a place down there. So, yeah, some free accommodations, of course, yeah, at the end yeah. of the flight. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think they've driven the route before. Uh, again, not really judging it. I mean, it's it's a long way to go Yes. in a short period of time. I he think says uh, 
Just north of Miami? Yeah. Yeah. So that's 24 hours in the car, no matter yeah. how you look at it. Yeah. I mean, the Almont boys, we used to do Daytona Beach in 20. I think that was our record. Yeah, but we know you guys, we talked about that before oh, where you've been pulled over. Those were good times. <laughs> I don't know if that ever made the show, <laughs> the pullover in Georgia for the speeding. I think it did. Yeah, okay. That yeah. Was, that was a good story. You anyway, know one thing we don't do on the show? Is start and complete a story continuously no. without interjecting side stories. Well, that too, but <laughs> <laughs> archive. What's that? What? We don't archive what's on the show. Oh, like what we've Which talked we about before. Which we could review periodically to see. Exactly. If, well, there's a job for the fact checker, maybe. Oh, he eh? might take that on. He could actually. go on, like, archive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It wouldn't be hard. Yeah. I mean, assuming my weekly summaries were accurate, which they're <laughs> not always. Yeah, I guess he could go through and do that. But we often... That's one way. To, or you could just listen to them all. He could. Back to back. <laughs> oh, my God. Like a prison sentence. <laughs> More like solitary confinement. So JB took the family to Florida. Yeah. They flew out of Syracuse, New York, which is about a three-hour drive from Ottawa. Yeah. I think the whole plan was A, to save time, but B, knowing JB, definitely to save money somehow. Like this was probably a JB cost-saving hack of some kind. Right. Uh, well, just the fact that the flight would be cheaper. Cause yeah. But, but then again, I question his research on cost saving because he did the same sort of shenanigans to get to Vegas back in the fall or the yeah, summer. The fall, yeah. And I kept pushing flare air at him, you know, round trip for like three hundred and eighty bucks. Yeah. Which is cheaper than anything. Yeah. Anyways. Uh so poor J B from from my understanding. I don't even remember when they went down there. I think after Christmas. <coughs> yeah, so it was Christmas. like last a week. week. It's been a week. Okay. Yeah. So down for the week. Flew down. Drove. Sorry. Drove to Syracuse. Drove to Syracuse. Yeah. I don't think they stayed the night or anything. Flew no. to flew to Florida. Blah blah blah. Flew back from Florida yesterday. Yeah. And there is a major winter storm, basically encompassing the entire northeast of the U.S. Yeah. With the fringe of this storm hitting our area lovely confines here where yeah. i shoveled 15 centimeters this morning which i will be doing after we finish oh, oh. yeah get one of the the p other people that live here to mm. do it no uh, don't even talk don't even go there so anyways yeah text from jb last night around nine JB. just landed boys uh yeah. stuck on the tarmac though there's another plane in our gate and it won't yeah move. see that's what the, yeah <laughs> I, I was confused by that i think that's what always i happened. thought was he stuck in the tarmac in florida for two no, hours no 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 he was stuck in the tarmac uh in syracuse yeah. waiting for a gate because another plane would not and that's exactly what it was I, he made it they made it to syracuse and they're waiting so Boy, nine o'clock on sucks. a good day you know it's three hours from syracuse to ottawa no problem i said hey yeah you'll be home by midnight yeah he's like oh we'll see you know he knew all along they weren't going to stay the night, but he kept saying, we'll see. Dinner, probably had to go shopping at Target for the wife. Like, they probably had all these little things they had to do. And he's the driver, the poor bugger, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's nobody else cares. No. They all just sleep, and he's got to drive yeah. through the snowstorm. I've done that on him before. I, I've d oh, you've done that on him? On him, yeah. Where Where was that? Come oh, a tournament or something? Yeah, come yeah. back from the tournament, yeah. Yeah, some days at those tournaments, you just you don't want to make the final. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's fun. You see, the side stories could yeah. come like crazy. I was at the That's gym right. yesterday, and there were a couple of dads laughing at their buddy who was in Toronto at a tournament and oh, stuck geez. for the finals. Oh. <laughs> anyways. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess they would have had to drive through that, too. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, long story, slightly shorter. <laughs> uh, the next text was uh, 3 a.m. arrived home. That's when he. That's yeah. When he, so it's a, was yeah. a three-hour drive to a six-hour drive, and like I was just telling yeah. you, uh, in the in the precast, how I ain't going to bed at 3 a.m. after driving six hours in a snowstorm. No, because I close my eyes and I, I, I see a porcupine sitting on my face still, <laughs> right? Like that's what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you? It's a, yeah. It takes a while to calm down after that. Oh, for sure. And a glass of bourbon just doesn't do it, I hear. Oh, no. Okay. God, that did not go over well the other <laughs> night. I don't know why. One doesn't work. No. Three I or was, four uh, works. You know, we'll get into that story because there's mm. a, another story on top of that one. But yeah, I'm done talking about JB's trip. Well, I, you know, I was saying. And the fact that he saved $80, I, $80 probably. Yeah, but added, 
yeah. hours of of his time that he'll uh, what life, he saved in the never... flight probably put in the gas tank. You know, you know what they say. What time is money? Time is money. And yeah, yeah he might, like you said, might have saved eighty bucks, but how much is his time worth? The thing about trips like that, and for me, a good road trip is is obviously something I love. But that road trip from Ottawa to Syracuse is, is it's nothing kind of more. Yeah, yeah, like I've done it a million times. Yeah. So I, I guess I'm just comparing it back to the big epic trip of the summer, the, the Route yeah. 66. Yeah. When you go into a trip like that, you have to realize the trip itself is the activity. Exactly. So every moment of that trip was, was yeah, cherishable. Exactly. Like exactly. there was always something cool. We were never in a rush. Yeah. But if you're trying to get specifically to somewhere and you're doing planes, trains, and automobiles, yeah. I don't know. That doesn't work for That's me. not how I roll. Not anymore. As you know how I roll. I know how you roll. I will buy the flight <laughs> you will right out of Ottawa. And you will pay. Actually, no. You know what? <laughs> uh, when we went to Florida for Disney, yeah, I paid $1,300 return mm. all, for everybody, all four of us. Okay. How much is that per person? 400 that's, bucks. That's fantastic. Right out of Ottawa. Oh, that's $1,600. And who was the, 300 who bucks. Was the provider? WestJet. WestJet, okay. Yeah. So, like, I'm not flying to Syracuse or driving to Syracuse or even Ogdensburg to save, mm. like, 80 bucks. No, no. And you know what? I did a little bit of uh, looking around myself as the as the Monaghan Easter tradition in Vegas mm. is uh, up up and running again for this oh, year. Oh, it is, eh? Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, um, I bit the bullet. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh-oh. Flair air, baby. <laughs> Right out of Ottawa. Now, <laughs> oh, well, like I said, yeah. I don't disagree with that. But uh, four hundred and fifty bucks. What the only thing I'd be yeah. afraid of about air flare, air flare, air flare, flare air, yeah, is that um, will they be one still be around by then? And two, I am, if their plane yeah. is not full, will yeah. they cancel the flight? So I th- I like what they've been doing, and so far so good. Obviously, yeah, they don't have a ton of destinations. They're smart. Like Ottawa, I think it's only two sun destinations out of Ottawa, and it's mm. only once a week each. Okay. So if you're a little bit flexible, you're good. So then when you go down to Vegas, yeah. are you staying for a week? I cannot when's stay fli- for a week. No, when's their flight back? So How are you the, getting back then? Well, this is how they run the, these, these okay. trips, right? It's a Friday and a Monday. Oh, so you come back Monday. So it's down and back. The, the plane itself, though, will fly down and back. Friday and down mm-hmm. and back Monday. Okay, gotcha. So it gives you options to well, do either smart. the week or the like weekend. the weekdays, the weekends, or the whole week. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, because of our our professions, we can't all just up and take a week at, at any time. Yeah. But the uh, the one four day weekend of the year is Easter, so. Well, there you go. Now the gambler, the yeah. we we need a nickname for the gambler. <laughs> Uh, my my sister. Oh my god! Because <laughs> get this, I hope she's okay uh, with us sharing this. Uh, as you know, she, Vegas is not a it's not it's not a dollar store destination. No, right? She being comped. She's comping this trip for us. Oh, for you? Oh. I could. This oh. was an offer I couldn't refuse. Okay, Darcy. that's okay. There you go. So yeah, and yeah. and and uh, <laughs> my mom was like, never. No, no, I'm done. I'm done. My mom's been to Vegas like forty oh, times, I just know, like my sister. Yeah. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I'm planning to go. Like, I want to go. Yeah. I'm planning to go in, in Easter. I had a blast a few years ago when I went. Yeah. And uh, whatever. So then my sister's, yeah, just right out of the blue one day last week. Okay, booked Mandalay Bay. <laughs> <laughs> I got the presidential suite. <laughs> it's all comped. It's like 3000 a night or something. I'm like, are you kidding me? At this thing, what is she like? Uh, like, like in the mafia? <laughs> She's a high roller or something. She just gambles a lot. Yeah, that's it. And you know what? It's really hard to say what people win or lose because it's just for the casino. They're simply rewarding customers who spend time gambling. Time, whether they so, win or lose. So you, so you're there. Uh, how many yeah. nights then? Uh, Friday, Saturday, so three nights. So that's nine thousand in <sighs> yeah. room costs. Yeah. So they're they're figuring they're figuring yeah. that, that the three of you will spend, spend nine will, will spend, spend the time more equivalent than 9, more than nine thousand yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and then you gotta hand it to my my sister and my mom they will gamble a ton yeah. and they will be up some days and they'll be down some days but the data is there like it's a player's card yeah. 
So when the casino sees that card go in a slot machine at, you know, 8 in the morning and it doesn't leave till noon and then it's back in at 2 and it doesn't leave till whatever and then it's there all night too, right. they're happy because statistically yeah. anybody playing that amount of time is going to give them a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. So anywho. Still. I'm happy, but my sister wanted to get down. Like it's Thursday night to, to Monday or something. So yeah. she's she's pulling a JB on the Thursday. Oh. She's flying. She's either she's driving somewhere. I know <laughs> she's going through Chicago to get to Vegas. She's driving Thursday. to Reno and then <laughs> <laughs> and then flying. To she's Vegas. doing something. So she'll be. But this is really good too because then when me and my mom get there on Friday morning, yeah. we're leaving Ottawa at seven local time, and mm. we're in Vegas at I think ten o'clock local yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And That's they're good. like just boom right to yeah. the room. Like we won't have to check in or anything. Yeah. And my mom will be at the one arm banded probably by ten o one. I'll be at the pool with some Bud Light Limes. I can't wait. Yeah, can't wait. Speaking of Reno, have you yeah. ever been to Reno? We drove through Reno coming okay. home from L.A. Yeah. Was it? It's not like It was that. underwhelming. It was. Actually. I had huge expectations. We were just talking about this the other day, me and some other friends. Do you have hotels for gambling and stuff? Yeah. It's like a little Vegas. Right. But it, it, it's, uh, if I had to give a vibe, it's more of like a Western, like more of a country Western oh, kind of. Okay. Okay. frontier town okay and mm-hmm. i don't know i i i, I had a i had such a different vision of it because i yeah. think all the reno shots i've ever seen were like winter almost and they got some nice skiing and that up there but it was it was underwhelming mm. yeah i wasn't uh wasn't a huge fan yeah so i should i should mention that if you hear somebody snoring in the background oh he's it's back. not jb yeah it's our little buddy <laughs> Winston. Back from this trip, but hang on, it's back to Reno here. Why yeah. did you ma- why did you bring up Reno? Well, I just made the joke that your 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 sister was driving to Reno and then flying mm. to <laughs> Vegas. Okay, I was uh, excited because I, I thought you had a Reno. No, no, no. And then, the, and then I thought, of course not. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have that. Okay, I've never been to Nevada. Okay, so never even been to Nevada. No, none of the ranches, anything. No, just California. Okay, yeah. nothing. That's the Bunny Ranch. I don't know. I just heard there were ranches, like oh. big cattle ranches. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Well, that was interesting. Time is money. Time is money. That's the moral of that story. And we got two fly more links. Out of, fly out of Ottawa, okay? Fly out of Ottawa. Fly out of Ottawa, people. Yeah. The just, only th- unless, you'll never get that time back. Well, I, but I'm a little more flexible than you on that. Like, if it's worth it, do it. But I'm not going to drive. Is it ever? I don't ever think it's worth it. <sighs> it used to be. Like it, you when when uh, Ogdensburg and Syracuse and Burlington, Vermont, <coughs> just started marketing to Canadians, yeah. it was worth it. Yeah, oh, but, all that. Yeah, but then it like people adapt. So as soon as Air Canada and WestJet and all that see their market share driving south, they're going to yeah. drop their prices. So I, mean, I think Ogden, we're back at that happy medium. Uh, yeah, now. I think Ogdensburg would make more sense. It's only forty five minutes. Ogdensburg's minutes. great. Free yeah. parking, the whole. Yeah, look, listen to me. Like I've done that before. Yeah, but I hear all the marketing. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that would be yeah. doable. And I you're would definitely do that, not. Probably. Like, you know, the, the neat thing about Ogdensburg, though, is just it's one flight, Ogdensburg to New York City every day, and then you go from there. That's yeah. kind of how they market that. Yeah. And you can fly anywhere out of New York. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you know, we're going to Italy in the summer. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, I looked into flying out of yeah. different, like Montreal yeah, to or save Toronto. Some money. Save money. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. Not for that, eh? Like when it's a huge. Well, who trip? wants to drive? No. Four and a half hours. Not for a trip like that. It doesn't make. I wouldn't sense. want to leave my vehicle in Montreal or somewhere. Oh, either. Montreal. Yeah, no. they're. Yeah. No. I no like, especially not your CRV. No. Or your F one fifty studio. Well, yes. Both no. of those are the more I learn. On the no, 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 no. The more I learn, the happier I am with the twenty eighteen Ford because it's a real friggin' key. It's not just a solo key fob, right? No, it's true. the solo key fobs in vehicles and I hope uh hope Dino's listening right now. One of our well, our listener. The one listener? It's it's the modern, <laughs> I'd say post twenty twenty vehicles that have the solo key fobs that are the ones being stolen. Because they're the ones where you can steal the signals, right? Yeah, my work vehicle is one of those. Yeah, like so yeah, yeah the C R V, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But the trick anyway. is also to keep those keys shielded. Which you do. I've got a tin can at home. There you go. You know, the one the one you used to wear on your head, your, your tin foil hat. I just <laughs> I flip it upside down. We drop the keys in there at home so the signal cannot be stolen. No. And then when I'm out and about. Did you ever see my tinfoil mask? No. 
I I'm pretty sure I sent you guys. A oh, picture probably. Of that. Yeah. I just remember you wearing your full-on motorcycle helmet into Costco. Oh, I've done that many times. Those were good times. Mm. So, do we want to get into the two other money links? Uh, a, yeah, I'm just. Uh, you had I'm a just, couple. Uh, uh, you had a couple of good ones that I jumped on board with. Oh yeah. <clears throat> well, we got our money-saving hacks, and we got yeah. money doesn't matter. Money. Oh right. You had a really good money doesn't we, matter yesterday. We we talked about that yesterday at yeah. our other morning coffee. You know what? Screw the money saving hacks. Cause you know why? <laughs> you know why? Why? Because money doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So tell us uh, about your your episode. Well, your... no, it's just it's just my. Because we've all been there. We've should been I don't there. know? Should I should I say this? No, because... just speak in generalities. Well, the general general. The generality is generality. sometimes. People just say, you know, screw it. Screw it. You only Money live once. Matter. Money doesn't matter. Right. And, and we'd like uh, the good listeners to even share yeah. with us some of their money doesn't matter stories. Yeah, We're I'm reachable on think. our email. We're re- reachable directly on Podbean. I'm trying to figure out how to open my coffee. Yeah, this is, you're making me talk a lot yeah. here unnecessarily. Just keep talking. <laughs> so money doesn't matter. To me, I got the closest I got to the money doesn't matter lately was just, you know, I'm out and about over the holidays and my goodness, I must have had three or four lunches on the fly. Cause you know why? <coughs> why? Cause money doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> you know, I'm out and about. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to go home and eat leftovers. Right. I'm going to this sweet Indian takeout place. I got my coffee open. Okay. Here yeah. We go. So I could take over. But here, here's the thing. So this is what brought it up. What? Yeah. So we were talking yesterday. I, you know what? I can't even remember how it got brought up. I think it was my. We're talking about. I think we were talking about the trip to Italy. We we're talking about. Yeah. It was, how, oh my God! How everything's friggin' expensive. How, well, now I we're mean, trying to we're be, talking, watch our money, and then all of a sudden, boom! Money doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, matter. that's it. Uh, and, and you know the car, the quote on the vehicle. That oh. My, my daughter God. Uh, was eighteen hundred bucks, and my wife's just yeah. like, you know, well, well, we'll we'll get it fixed. That's and, a joke. And then of I course, wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole. Man. Well, here's how Who it cares. Well, I know. Yeah. Here's how it actually came up. She said, I want to buy a sauna. <sighs> that's what she that's said. That's what my wife. That's yeah. what she said. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's right. That's my wife. I want to buy a sauna. A portable sauna. <laughs> a portable sauna. <laughs> and I'm like, what? A portable indoor sauna. Indoor, indoor sauna. Not like, oh, those nice well, How cedar. much is that? Yeah. That's 200 bucks. Oh, well, that's all. Eh? And I said, she's got lately on this kick. Yeah. The money. Money doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mm. You know what? Portable sauna. <laughs> exactly. And I said to her, okay, well, if the money doesn't matter, yeah. then I'm buying that. Your turbo booster. Exactly. Or whatever the hell it was. Or the vehicle. Yeah. Throttle response thing. Throttle response thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the technical term for it. Mm. But yeah, like she's on to this kick That's that classic. money doesn't matter. Yeah. And I think, and I'm not really sure why, because mm. she used to be pretty cheap about things. If Sometimes, I spent money on something, yeah, she'd be like pissed. Yeah, I think. Yeah, some. I hope she hasn't given up because sometimes you get to the point where you're like, "Oh my god, things are so damn expensive." Like whatever, money doesn't matter. There's no credit well, cards. There's debt. There's bills. There's my husband. I th- yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know. I don't know, but that's that's probably a better segment for us. Is money doesn't matter. We like, should look at yeah. all like. As huh, as like, as part of our New Year's resolutions for the show, we should try to have a segment each week on a fun money doesn't matter bit. Well, eh? this one is. Why is it not logging me in? What are you trying to do? Log don't, into don't my wreck computer. The cast. Um, this one is. Oh, that's cap locks is on. That's why. This one is. Money doesn't matter. An indoor sauna, portable. Oh indoor right, sauna. right. Money doesn't matter. It's only a couple hundred bucks. And where would we put it? In the basement, I if, guess. If money didn't matter to me, yeah. I would have went out and bought that $400 long blade skate sharpening jig I was right. describing. Yeah. So here I am already sharing a cost-saving hack. Well, you know what? Money mm. doesn't matter, Duff. I should have did Just it. Just go buy it. Beca- yeah. Just but you know it. what? I've got to go back to the money saving hack and explain to the good listeners what I ended up Just doing. Just buy it. <laughs> money doesn't matter. It's tempting because if I did buy it, I think I could professionally sharpen long blades yeah, for the city could, of Ottawa. 
for yeah. all the people you waiting. You could ask. Yeah, for all the people waiting three Not friggin' ask. days to get their skates sharpened at Figure Eight Sports. You could open a business. Yeah, and Long for all the people who go into friggin' Valaket Sports and get told, yeah, yeah, we can do it. Okay, Ooh. drop them off. Go get your Indian lunch. Come back, and they say, oh, I'm sorry. It wouldn't have worked. We would have destroyed it. I'm like, no kidding. I knew this, but you said you'd do it. Anyways, just, I'm getting all just, fired up. Yeah, you just. Uh, so I could have, yeah, like could have, would have, should have. Company online here. So what I did do, well, let's let's give out uh, uh, a rose to a, a company then. So what did I do? I went and made my own skate sharpener with some help from uh, a buddy I work with. I oh. basically got a bunch of tools from him to, to okay. help me get get the job done. Yeah. And uh, I went to a place called Lee Valley Tools. Ah, yes. Oh, my, remember that place? Lee Valley. I oh, haven't I been know. there in years. Yeah, I, have, I haven't been there in a couple of years of myself. It is gorgeous. Yeah. I'm, I remember what I miss now about yeah. that place. Yeah. So you talk about dissing businesses. I'm going to give a huge shout out to Lee Valley Tools, the retail uh office Arm space that you can yeah. actually go in and look around it's kind of like the old consumers distributing yeah but you remember that yeah for sure <laughs> where you had to go and fill out yeah. the little form and it is give it to them and it's then just go like the, that but yeah. what i like about it is it's geared to stuff i actually like gardening farming outdoor yes, stuff yeah. like tools any millennial will not <sighs> get that reference. they wouldn't have a clue yeah they wouldn't have Sorry a clue about that no well they wouldn't even have a clue about uh Lee Valley tools so anyways oh no, that seems like a millennial thing it's bougie I just got a new. Is not? I just got a new weekly segment. What's that? That feels like a millennial thing. <laughs> <laughs> Money doesn't matter. Oh my god! <laughs> this is like our. This is like our, our workshop. <laughs> yeah, so we're just is. gonna hash some shit out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And have a plan. Exactly. Money doesn't matter, and that seems like a millennial thing. <laughs> That's let's do it, and then yeah. we could have a millennial on someday. Hey, oh, a token millennial. Oh god, yeah, that'd be hilarious. Oh, that, that's things we should do, but should. I will get my esteemed call, former colleague, maybe. Yeah. A millennial? He's a millennial. Nice. Uh, no, you know what? He's, he's post a, He's a good He's a good, he's an older millennial, but he's, he's a cool millennial. We need a young, he gets uncool it. millennial. Yeah. Just to prove our point. I was going to say Dave Brown, host of AMI. Uh, oh, he wouldn't work. Yeah. He's too, he's great. Yeah, I know. No. That's the problem. He's yeah. too good. He was like born in the wrong generation, that guy. Yeah, he, he was basically, yeah. Uh, so Lee Valley It would be tools. great to have him on, though. We should. Yeah. But won't. Yeah, that's true. We should. Uh, <laughs> Lee Valley Tools, I bought a $40 sharpening stone right from Japan. Like a wet stone, it's called? Yeah, or yeah something. a wet stone, yeah. <clears throat> that's the only thing I bought for this project, okay? Yeah. And I'm comparing it to a $400 setup, right? Yeah. So the long blades are really thin. They don't have a little U shape on the on the blade. Yeah. I'm not sure yeah. if anyone's listening. That well, I'm pr- I'm not even sure if anyone's listening. But if 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 Somebody they are, listening. if they understand skate technology, yeah. So the long blades, uh, you just simply need a nice square edge. It's like a, yeah. I don't know, like flat top, clean sides, whatever. Yeah. So you basically need to orient the skates upside down, <clears throat> where the bottom of the blade is flat, both of yeah. them. And you just kind of grind down the top right. of it. So I devised a, uh, uh, an apparatus for this. Yeah. If, if I'll simplify, simplify the vision for you. Two by twos in a rectangle where the skates sit inside with another piece of wood that's adjustable at one end that just kind of pinches them together with a strap. Mm-hmm. Okay, And then the whole thing sits on a milk carton. <laughs> that's it. The trick, though, is it... How much that cost? $40 for the stone. All that stuff didn't cost anything. Okay, so okay. that's a huge money-saving hack. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. $380 yeah. cost-saving hack. Exactly. So then I did a gentle kind of... Yeah. What's the word I'm looking for with the stone moving back and forth? A right. gentle sharpening right. just to make sure it wasn't going to damage the... A, a gentle rub. <laughs> you know, it was just a bit. Yeah, just the tip of the blades, you know? And then I wanted to make sure the skates just weren't the tip? demolished. Yeah, just just the the tip. Okay. And uh, success. Nice skate. Right. They felt a little bit sharper. Right. So I had the confidence to really go at it next, next time. time. Nice and hard. Okay. Yeah, more than yeah. just the tip. Just boom back. You're gonna go hard next time. Hard back and forth. Lots of friction. And uh, took them out yesterday. I think it was a complete success. All right. I think. 
I mean, I, then I started questioning if when I was pushing off with one leg, if maybe I didn't get that edge. Because if they're not perfectly vertical, right. let's say, right. up and down, if it's off ever so slightly, then you're actually grinding one of the edges down. And instead of having a nice, sharp rectangle, you end up with a I I up, right. across, and then a little edge, and then down, uh, which would okay. be horrible, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. But I don't think I have that. I think I have uh, nice, clean blades and... At the end of the day, I spent forty dollars on this stone, which is, I'm pretty sure, the skating sharpening at Figure Eight. Which again, I'm not dissing Figure Eight; they're yeah. a great store. That's where yeah. I bought the yeah. skates yeah. like ten years ago, yeah, if not more. And when they sharpen them, they do an amazing job. Yeah. But it's almost like they're a victim of their own success. So everybody in mm. Ottawa that's bought these darn skates in the last twenty years are probably getting them sharpened there. You know what you need what? to do? What is buy the machine? The real setup? Yeah. Yeah. You can make money on it. I know. I could. If figure eight is the only place. They really seem to be. Unless there's Ottawa. a listener that can throw me a bone here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've thought about it. I really have. Oh, and I shouldn't say they're the only place because the speed skating clubs, that's actually who's done it before for me. I work with a lady, her husband. In fact, their whole family are huge speed skaters, and they've mm. been to Lake Placid year on year forever, but the kids are older now. Are they now. Uh, Norwegian? I don't believe so. Finnish? No. Dutch. Dutch. Oh, Dutch. The Dutch are yeah. big skaters. Yeah, they are. I don't believe they are, no. Okay. So anyhow, I would toss her these skates uh, every Indigenous? year. Indigenous? No, no, no. I would toss her the skates uh, to sharpen them up every year for the last few years. And then, of course, I put the request in last second there last week. And, oh, no, uh, Duff, they're all, everything's packed well, away. We're th- moving. Oh. So I couldn't get it done. So then I panicked. Mm. I'm like, okay, I'm doing it myself. So so where do they do it? then? Oh, so Sorry. Good question. Here I am thinking everybody's reading our mind again. Yeah. They have their own little professional setup because both kids, as well as themselves, I think, skated for, you know, over 20 years. Mm. So they bought, it's called a jig, some sort of jig setup. So they paid 400, 400. No, back then, who knows what it was. They've had this thing forever. <coughs> yeah, I actually awesome. offered to buy it, and I got oh, no did. response back. Oh, so I don't know right. why. You know. got no response at all. Yeah. Maybe they're either really, really considering it, or they thought it was insulting that I would ask to buy it. <laughs> Anyways. Interesting. So, so, yeah, that's a good. It, I think it's been a success. I mean, again, I'll only know for sure when I take them on on, on good, hard, flat, professional ice like the Oval and Lake Placid. Yeah. Because the old pond where I went again it's yesterday. It's nice and hard there, right? It's super. But if the ice is a little bit, it's almost like if it's a little bit rough and bumpy and soft, it's yeah. you don't notice if your skates aren't super sharp. Right, right. So I'll know when we hit Lake Placid as early as next Sunday. As early as next Sunday. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, and you had the, the plan is for you to get me out on the long. And the plan so. is we'll try to time our whole trip yeah. where we can hit the open session for the long blades. What time was that again? I'm gonna have to check. Like I don't know. I think on the weekend they'll have. They'll probably have three sessions. They'll have a couple in the morning. So they'll have a regular skate session and then a long blade I session. I know the long blade the last time was in early in the morning. Was it yes, in, and then was you're it? right, which yeah. you were sleeping through. Exactly. Yeah. In a perfect world, you know, we, we get your daughter all tucked in there by lunch. We grab a lunch. At the Ooh, cap? Should, no. Oh, mm. yes. Mm. Forgot about that. I was going to mm. say the Mexican place in Saranac that oh, I right. never get to go to. No, free lunch, for yeah. sure. And then uh, get an afternoon session in and then head back. Now, you're going to rent some long blades, DDT. <clears throat> yeah, well, I've never, I obviously, uh, I skate. Never have I ever. But I never have I ever rented long blades. Or even used long blades. Or even used them. So, I'm feel. <laughs> how do you stop? You're already anxious. <laughs> I am. I'm nervous. How do you stop? Like so you, when you, you watch just keep gliding skaters, until the friction takes you sh- over? You sure and don't you do a lot of stopping? stopping. That's a good question, but yeah. you sure don't do a lot of stopping. You know, because I see them on there, and they're like that. doing this thing where they're, they're yeah. So you know when you stop? You know when you stop? When when, when you done. crash? When you're done? Oh yeah. So uh, <laughs> because mine are the ones that you'll rent might actually be more uh, modern than mine, where the mm. where the heel separates from the blade. It's only going to be connected at the toe. Oh. So I would imagine they might be trickier to stop with. Mine oh, is Jesus. a hard boot with a long blade, so I can hockey stop. No yeah, problem. Damn. Yeah. So whatever. You'll figure it out. 
Ah, I'll just keep going, like you said. Yeah. Till the friction takes over. And Until I end the up Zamboni stopping. driver comes out and <laughs> slows you down. Exactly. <laughs> or, you know, I'll be stuck around the opposite side of the ring. <laughs> yeah. As a, when I yeah. finally stop and yeah. be like, uh, yeah. how do I get back? That's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'll be a lot of fun. I hope you rent them. I'll rent them. Yeah, yeah, we'll I'll figure, do it. I'll try yeah, okay. it. Okay. Yeah, we'll, I'm game for trying it. We'll figure that out. So I got a sore thumb. Yes, I heard about this. Yeah. Explain. <laughs> You want to know why I have a sore thumb? One of your home projects, no doubt. So this is it. I wanted to talk about a little bit about DIY. Yes. Home renovations, DIY. Oh, great topic. Yeah. Again, my wife, money doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter. We need to do something about the floor in our ensuite bathroom. Oh, God. She's been at it at me for like yeah, probably a year now. Okay. And I finally caved. Yeah. Went out and bought the vinyl flooring and stuff. Okay. But I got to remove the old tile. Yes. Okay. Can't just throw it on top. No. Well, you could, actually. Yeah, could have saved a lot of time. Could have. What have, should have. Time saving Time is hat. money, yeah. Because now the bathroom is totally blown apart. <laughs> but my thumb is sore because the stupid... Multi-tool. Multi-tool that I bought for yeah. 50 bucks. Yeah. That... Um, Pushing the pushing the on button oh. on and off so many times because yeah. when I pulled up the tile, all the tile mortar was still on the freaking yeah. subfloor, so and I couldn't find the screws. Couldn't find the screws, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I got to scrape this off. But yesterday, I fe- found out that there is a, a floor scraper tool that you can buy at oh. Home Depot for like twenty bucks. That would have helped. Another twenty bucks, but that's another twenty bucks yeah. on the top of the hundred yeah. and. Fifty I spent on the floor plus uh, fifty on the uh, multi tool, mm-hmm. and I'm still working on it. We got most of the floor up now. It never. My brother in law came over. Yeah, it never. But ends. you ever look at a project? This is me all the time. Yeah. Okay. This is why I want to talk about DIY projects. <laughs> that most people will probably do the same thing. They look at it. Yeah. The bathroom is not a big ensuite bathroom. It's no. only about the flooring. There they see probably. it as a small job. Exactly. Initially, they see it as a small. I thought, job. yeah, you know, something I could handle. The non-professional. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And of course not. It goes sideways pretty darn quickly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then like, it's so. Why did I do then this? you're already into it, and no, it, it truly becomes it. a scenario of where money yeah. doesn't matter. Exactly. Because you can't just stop. No, halfway. you got to keep going. Yeah. So you're buying a fifty dollar tool, a ten dollar. Good tool. thing I got money for Christmas. Yeah. From my mother in law. <laughs> yes. God bless them. Yeah, because that paid for the tool. <laughs> oh, God. So I didn't have to. That's a money saving hack right there. But speaking of time, get money from get money from parents getting and in laws. Getting yeah, money as gifts. But speaking of time, then, like, you're mm-hmm. are you halfway through this project? Are you uh, no, I still got a bit of uh, subfloor to pick up, and not only that, I'm seeing that the the subfloor underneath that. Yeah. There's um. Mold. Some water issues, damage yeah. from the shower and toilet. So I got to figure. So that you've out. got hours and hours of work uh, left. I'm gonna, yeah. It's not even. But you, you can't know what? Even calculated at this point. We're gonna be out of the bathroom for probably another two or three weeks. <sighs> but in the end, how you much can't money? Can't even use the bathroom though. No, the toilet's out. I had to take the sink oh, out. I didn't everything. want to take the cabinet out, but gotcha. I ended up having to. Okay. Wow. Um. So I'm going to be out of the bathroom for a few weeks. But on the other hand, Jeez, I didn't think of the money saving. If you had somebody come in and do it, yes, it would be done in a couple of days, maybe yeah. three, four, or five days. Yeah, but how much money would you have spent? One hundred and fifty for the vinyl, a thousand and something for the labor. Yeah. No, I, uh, I, I commend you. Basically, it's not something I would even want to tackle. I tend to see every project as too big for me. <laughs> I should look at it that nah. way. I still have my motorcycle, which is like four years in the making. The the. The cafe, the ceremonial motorcycle. Yes, in the in the living room or in the garage? No, they're in the garage. They're both in the garage now. Yeah. DDT. Yes, sir. I got a pick for you. It's not a Lanark pick. It's not a Duff's pick. It's just this is a show I think you would excellently like. Okay. Have you ever heard of it before? It's called Louder Milk. L o u d e r m i l k. It's a drama with three seasons starting in 2017. I can't believe I've never heard of this John, show before. What, <coughs> it's what on Netflix. The, the flicks. Sam Loudermilk Louder is played by Ron Livingston. Ah, you know this guy? Yes, I do. He's pretty funny. Yeah. 
Sam Loudermilk is a recovering alcoholic and substance abuse counselor with a bad attitude. He manages to piss off everyone. Although his drinking is under control, he discovers that when your life is a complete mess, getting clean is the easy part. <laughs> it is pretty funny. So this is a comedy. It's a comedy yeah. drama. Com okay. But it is, it'll make you Com laugh. Comedy drama. And it's Dramedy. Nice, yeah. And it's nicely Dramedy. set up with 25-minute episodes. So oh, that's boom. good. I love yeah. that. It is quite yeah. something. I don't know how I on earth I stumbled across it. Was it on your, your you know how they the Me, algorithm uh, is like for for because you watched Light, no, Light Lotus? I don't even think Here's it was this one. I have no idea. Uh, oh, it started. What? What was he snoring? It stopped. Uh, <laughs> but what hooked me on it is I I've been getting on on social media. I got some pretty funny uh, reels. Where Sam Loudermilk orders a coffee. Oh yeah, and he's being a millennial is serving him this coffee with okay. a really annoying voice, and he calls her on it. Yeah, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen on social media. And after like ten minutes into the first episode, I'm like, oh my god, this is the show that clips from. Right. So I keep waiting for it and waiting for it. I waited a long time. It wasn't <laughs> until like the fourteenth episode or something where that <laughs> scene happens, right. but it was so good. Right. Anyways, Louder Milk. Okay. You gotta check it out. It's on Netflix. I know you have it. Uh there's three seasons. It is there's some there's some dark stuff. Right. Like it's a super bizarre combination of, of, oh, it's kind of, of like stuff, white, right? White Lotus. Yeah, but even White Lotus is just kind of weird yeah. at times. This yeah. one's kind of dark. Like, he's literally running a club. For, uh, a club. <laughs> it's not a club. <laughs> it's an Alcoholics Anonymous <laughs> meeting. And uh, there's some really rough... Yeah. I can't I can't even explain it. I don't want to uh, give any spoilers. Yeah. But he will make fun. There's light made out of these situations. Okay. I and like the fact that it's 25-minute episodes. 25-minute episodes. Yeah. Guaranteed to laugh each one. Yeah. Yeah. So I uh, so uh, just Check on it out. just on that note, yeah. As you know, I started watching Handmaid's Tale. Yes, started on episode one. Oh my right? god, what a series! And then I was like, uh, "Blessed day." By yes, the way. blessed day. Yeah, under his eye. <laughs> and uh, I, I, and it's been a couple of weeks. I went back to it. Blessed uh, I gotta be get the back. fruit. Exactly. <laughs> of thy womb. Yeah. Um. So I went back to it. Yeah. I'm like, I can't find it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, where, they, where did they take it off? This is typical DDT. Yeah, where did it go? Yeah, and I just found out this morning talking to you about it that I was look looking at the wrong service. It is on. It's not on Netflix because I went back to Netflix to yeah. look for it. It's not on Netflix. You, you know. found it though? No, I didn't. Because you said it's on Prime, and I've been looking. Oh, on I'm Netflix. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so I've just told you. It's yeah, on you told Prime. me this morning. It's on yeah, Prime. Yeah, yeah. Good lord. Uh, so. We've successfully completed our viewing of The Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. Five seasons. Oof. Average 10, 12 episodes a season. Yeah. Probably one of, if not the best series I've ever watched. Yeah. Personally And I, and I know you guys were a tough sell on it. JB, I can't compute it, I guess. Well, I he's he's more of the uh, action hero, yeah, superhero, yeah. Marvel guy. That's true, eh? Yeah. You know, he, like, and he's addicted to like his that. phone. I don't think he could sit down and watch the series because if you try to sit down and watch Handmaid's Tale with your phone in your hand, I wish you all the best. Yeah. Like, you're not going to get, you're not going to get everything, right? No. Uh, I just love the parallels with the modern real world. And to think this you know what? There's no way the book is this detailed. Margaret Atwood, right? Fancy Canadian. Yeah. She wrote The Handmaid's Tale, yeah. which makes me really want to read the book now. Yeah. But there's no way. Usually when I read a book and see the movie, the book is way more detailed. Yeah. But I guess because we're talking five seasons of shows here, there's no way the book's more detailed than this, right? It's impossible. Oh, no, yeah. They, They've taken they, on their exactly, liberties. Exactly. And, uh, but the yeah. parallels you see in the show to the modern world. Well, I wonder if that makes was your skin bubble. Well, I wonder if that was like intentional. Part of it, yeah. maybe. But yeah. so when was it? Here's a. I should know this. It was on a few years ago. Where's I remember our, it coming out. That's the thing. A few it's years not ago. brand new now. No. When was the Handmaid's Tale actually? We don't have a fact checker here, so Damn it, we this can't sucks do that. Too. Yeah. Nah, I will just say it was mid mid twenties six. Tens. Well, come on. We should be able to find it here. The Handmaid's 16, Tale, 2017. 2017. 2017. Now, 
So what's cool is it was written well before COVID, and there's just some yeah. really oh, neat yeah. comparisons yeah. there with some yeah. of our our freedom and liberties. Let's just well, say. well, the thing is, like uh, any society, yeah. Or well, we're getting ph- philosophical here. Philosophically, will be uh, will tend towards author- authoritarianism over time. Do you think? That's, well, yeah, it's just the way it works. No matter what, throughout history, that's yeah. the way it works. Yeah, yeah. history uh, might not repeat, but it rhymes. So you think we're living history right now? We are living history. COVID will definitely be looked back on. Yeah, by historians, and I'm sure the the thing will be split fifty fifty as to whether it was good or whether. Well, it was we bad. look back and think, man, I wish we could just have those conditions compared to what we have <laughs> now. <laughs> That's a good point. Maybe. Eh? Wow. But uh, it's it's yeah. If you're on X, you're you're gonna read that a lot of people want to have the restrictions back. Totally out. I couldn't. Oh, I just feel so great too, not being part of all that shit anymore. Okay. But uh, no kidding, you're in there. What do you mean? Aren't you still on X? Oh, you oh you mean X? I'm talking about like people want to bring back the COVID restrictions. No, I'm just talking about not hearing any of that. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. You you you're off the rabbit hole. That is off the rabbit hole. Formerly known as Twitter. Oh my God. Yeah. But no, like the the whole setting, it's set in the states, but there's a neat Canadian angle to it. <clears throat> Basic, shot in Brampton, part of it. Yeah, a lot yeah. of it must have been shot in Canada because there's a whole like Canadian angle to it eventually. Okay. Without giving it away. Yeah. But uh, what basically happens is the United States turns into a dystopian yeah. country called Gilead, and yeah. Gilead is essentially the continental United States, Alaska and Hawaii are all that remain of the true United States. Mm-hmm. Canada is still its own country. And nothing has really changed in Canada. Like, right. there's still cell phones and tech and women can be women. Right. But in Gilead, it's just... Yeah. They it's oppressed. It's an oppressed society. they got to have babies. Well, it's all based on the fact that there's a huge decline in the birth rate globally. Yeah. yeah. And different countries are trying different things. And what they decide to do in Gilead is go back to, like, this extremely alt conservative christian uh yes. view where yeah. women it's it's the parallels with the gilead system and the taliban are uncanny mm. like the women are not allowed to read they're not allowed to do anything right and there's three types of women yes you're either a high status woman who becomes a wife who may or may not be fertile, doesn't matter, but they lead a life yeah. of, of this high level supporting their commander husband. Yes. Or you are not fertile and not of status, and you become a a Martha, <laughs> which is basically <laughs> a maid. Right. A maid. You do whatever. Yeah. Oh, there's actually four. Oh. Uh, and then if you're not a Martha, you can be sent to the colonies where you're just, you live a life of hell, hmm. where you're just like a slave in a mine or whatever. Right. Or you're a handmaid. You're a yeah. fertile female yes. that can give birth. Yeah. And you will be assigned to a commander yes. and his wife. Yes. Where you are there birthing. That's what I saw machine. in the first episode. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, yeah, it just goes from they there. They take the, uh, obviously against their will. Against their will. Yeah. Although it's so bizarre because most of them become quite, I don't want to say comfortable with it, but they just, they seem to just. Stockholm Maybe it's because they have no syndrome. choice. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're content with their role, and then as time goes on, but like, yeah, I don't want to give it away too mm. much, but it becomes just the matter of fact. So as time yeah. goes on, there yeah. are babies being born, and those babies grow up and are just slotted into one of these roles, and right. it's like they don't know any different. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah. it's fascinating. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Interesting. If you want to binge something, Handmaid's Tale, five seasons. They're preparing a season six. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they are, right? They are. Oh, they are. Okay, good for them. I hear not till 2025, though. Uh, well, they're filmed. There was this oh, okay, big yeah, writer's yeah, strike, right? Oh, right, yeah. Set everything writers back, apparently. Actors, I didn't yeah. realize. Yeah, you're right. That's true. So a lot of series that yeah. are ongoing have been just paused. Yeah. So Well, they've, re- they've, they've worked they've It's been out. settled, it's yeah. Been settled. But they'll be, it's it's almost like nothing new is going to pop no, out exactly. anytime for, soon, for but then we'll be, we'll be bombarded with yeah, some cool shit exactly. later in the year. So I wanted to... Uh, yeah, what else you got, DDT? Well, I wanted to bring up the fact that, um, speaking of my wife, once again, <laughs> she'd probably kill me if she ever listened to this, but it's a good thing she I'm never listens. Listen. Yeah, exactly. Thank yeah. God. None of them do. But uh, she was debating me yeah. on the firing of... <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Ottawa Senators head coach DJ Smith. Wow, a little sports chatter in the yeah. DDT household. Huh. And I found myself like getting animated in the discussion with her. Huh. <laughs> so she was supporting uh no- She was like, I don't understand. Like what's what's with like this whole firing? People are saying this, yeah. that, the other thing, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And uh, like it's just like why you know, why <laughs> does he get fired? Like what is he it's not his fault, the players, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? And, Based on the record since the firing, uh, she may have a point. Well, uh, there's not, there hasn't been any drastic improvement. I have seen improvement in team. I okay. thought the last couple of games that even though they lost, sure, uh, they've actually played. You well. think they're somehow turning it around? Do you? Well, defensively, they just are not scoring. Yeah. Okay. Their pe- penalty kill. There's two things that are plaguing them. So they're three, building. Really. They're building from the back out. Maybe. Well, three pl- problems. Yeah. For the most part, their penalty kill. Yeah. Has been horrible, so they still need to work on that. Agreed. Their power play has been horrible, at least the first unit out there. They can't score on the power play. They had a four-minute penalty last night, and they they didn't do anything. They had a four-minute power play and didn't score. Yeah. Ah, jeez. Yeah, they didn't do anything. And uh, Edmonton's no, they're no powerhouse eh, anymore. Oh, they're, since they've changed their coach, they're like 14 and 3. Now fifty. Oh, they've turned it around. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, they they had to turn it around. Why but can't the, we turn it around? The crappy thing like about that. that is they. I don't know if they've made any ground in the standings, right? Because oh. they've been we're so far back. Yeah, that's like us. But um, here's the thing. Uh, the third part of that is their goaltending. These goaltenders, yeah, seem to play great. Like they're standing on their head. Yeah. And then bang. So it's not the goaltender's fault. One shitty goal. They give up one. How am I crappy sounding goal. like this? Just it's okay. It's good. Yeah. Okay. I can't be comfortable though. It's not bad because I can your, look on my phone because your you neck bore is kind of like. But you can still hear me talking. Y- your neck is kind of like. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's good. Gonna, it's a good it's gonna neck get, stretch. Yeah. Good neck stretch. So the goalie gives up like 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 last night. It's yeah. one nothing third period. Yeah. No. <clears throat> yeah, third period. One nothing. Forsberg's in net. He's playing great, making some good saves. Sends are playing pretty well defensively, even though giving up a lot a lot of shots. Offensively, they're doing well. They just yeah. can't put the puck in the net. The, the Edmonton goalie actually played well. Yeah. Same the other night with the Seattle goalie played oh. really well, which is DeCord. a former, former Ottawa goalie. Ex-Ottawa goalie. So Sens are having a hard time scoring. <clears throat> However, of course, they give it up on the – so the, the guy comes down, takes a shot, Forsberg stops it. Somehow it squeaks through oh. his body yeah, yeah. and goes into the back of the net. Yeah. It's yeah. like then it's 2 nothing. They Brutal. have a – then – Send score, get one back. It's going to be a good finish to the game. So they're going to pull the working. well. They're going to pull the goalie, and then Zub yeah takes a stupid interference penalty. Yeah, nothing's working, and the friggin' guys score on the penalty. Yeah, it's like what the hell? So it's a tight game. It's a close game, and it's a close game. Like and you're li- talking any little thing that happens, they pay for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you're talking uh, Drysidle and McDavid. Yeah, you can't you make know? mistakes with those guys. You cannot. There. And Hyman scored a hat trick. Hyman, he got all three. But oh really? Yeah. For oh, there you go. Who scored for the for the hometown? Parker Kelly. Parker Kelly. I've heard yeah. his name a bit lately. He played well, and you yeah. know what? They actually called the goal off. Oh. At first. Called it offside. Yeah, they said goalie interference, and oh, then the okay. replay comes on. It's like what the hell? So then it, it, did Edmonton get a penalty? No, no. So the, the Ottawa. So uh, Parker Kelly scores. Yeah. Refs call the goal off, saying, "Oh, oh goal, goalie interference." So we had to ask for the review. So Martin he goes the review, and of course, you know, it's oh, like overturned because there's no goalie interference. Okay, good. Well, there's never an of course there. I tell you. Yeah. Well, well yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It was setting up to be a good f- finish. Yeah. To the game. God. So Close you watched game. it right to the end. Yeah. Yeah. It was over at like what time? Yeah, One o'clock. Uh, not that. Twelve thirty. I think about twelve thirty. Wow. Okay. And then Zub goes and takes a stupid interference penalty. Zub. Yeah, he has not been good this year <laughs> that much, if you ask me. Uh, and Shabbat was terrible yeah. last night. You know what I'm impressed with? What's that? We covered everything on my list. I didn't cover everything on mine. Well, keep going then. Well, let me just have a look here. Welcome to the new year. We the got new the you. DIY sore thumb. We got the So, yeah, getting back to uh, debating my wife. So she was yeah. debating me on that uh, this past week. Yeah, couple days actually. <laughs> Two day debate. Yeah, it's like no. I thought DJ Smith ruined. Well, there's his there's team. no sp- local sports talk radio anymore, so yeah, very barely, maybe barely we should any, be yeah. tuning into you guys. Exactly. So that was fun. At least she took some interest. One of the reasons was like 
She used to watch DJ Smith's kids. Yeah, like, I figured yeah. there was a personal connection. Of and some and kind. one of the poor kids in there. Yeah. Was one, his the kid's buddy. Yeah. And she's the kid was my wife was telling me the kid was going, "Where's Mickey? Where's Mickey?" Aww. And of course, Mickey's gone and not coming back. So, you know, I highly doubt that DJ Smith will get a high, head, another head coaching job and not he'll in be a future. he'll be an assistant perpetual or he'll be a you know a scout junior c head coach and in like ingersoll yeah. he might somewhere. go back to ohl or uh, something yeah. he's good with the kids they say right yeah here's a here's anyway. a here's a vent can i rant sure I, unless it's a tony gabriel uh, it's not okay. they, cibc does not deserve that kind of attention <laughs> okay i grabbed a u.s dollar bank account online oh, nice. yeah. took me 10 seconds yeah. to do about my daughter's got one okay about yeah so that definitely serves yeah, a purpose. Yeah, we know. Yeah. About three or four months ago, okay, I threw a couple hundred bucks in there. Yeah. And it converted, obviously, to American yeah, yeah, dollars. which you got way less. I haven't used it since. Yeah. But you want to see, they, they hear take my all your statements? Money out of there? Here's my <laughs> statements, okay? Yeah. November 29th, service charge, $2.25. Mm. American? No. Uh, good question. Yeah. I don't even, never even thought of that. Yeah. December 29th, service charge, what? minus $2.25. So you're slowly going down. It's taking away $2.25 every, every month. friggin' month. Yeah. So I just wanted it for, I wanted it to make my life easier, right? Because I do travel yeah. a lot, and yeah. I'm always coming back with American money. I always get American yeah, money. Yeah. But, uh, and I didn't read all the friggin' details. Well, who does? Right? Nobody does, but... Yeah. I, I want to cancel it, essentially, yeah. right? I won't be paying $2.25 every month if I'm not even using now it. Now you can't cancel. But I don't know. Like, I'm wondering yeah. right now. Yeah. I guess it's making me look like the the, 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 the person at fault, though, not CIBC, right? Well, for not reading the fine print. So I tried to do the <laughs> online texting with them and that, and yeah. they like they give me the most ridiculous answers, and then it's like, would you like to speak to a live agent? Yes. And then you wait 10 minutes, and it's like, there's no one available. There's no one available. So I haven't been uh, able to talk to a human about this. Jeez. I'm curious if there is a fee to actually cancel an account. I'm curious, what if I just take the remaining money out Why don't you just and say the hell with it? Well, they're probably, you'll Will be they in keep a deficit. Charging me? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so it, I'm very disappointed well, in it. Why don't you just call them and say, what the? I would like to call them. WTF. And, but what, what I hate, too, is like all my other accounts, like if you maintain a certain balance, you don't get charged that crap, yeah. which is fine. I don't mind keeping... A lot of money in one account but if they say oh yeah if you keep a thousand dollars in it then you'll never be charged i'm like that's working money for me yeah i don't, yeah. don't want to just sit a thousand dollars like i, I want to use that money yeah yeah so anyways i don't know yeah. that's my quick vent as i glance through well my, my daughter here. has a same cibc us account okay is she paying a monthly fee i don't fee? know actually well she's a student too she might well, benefit oh from it might this. be a no, I don't think it's a student account. Okay. Well, maybe I don't. I don't. I don't think it's a student account. But she might have benefited from the student. Okay. Uh, being but what a, a pain! Like I, I'm looking at, uh, and time flies. Say eh? every month you're oh, looking at your, you're reviewing what you got, and it's like two bucks, two bucks, two bucks. Yeah. Like in a friggin' year and a half, they'll just take all my money. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's a thanks. A, well, but money doesn't yeah. matter. I might no. as well. Money doesn't <laughs> matter. See, <laughs> money doesn't, money doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. Yeah, I should put That's it on their a, attitude. I should just put money it on the friggin' mattress. Exactly. My American money, yeah, right? Exactly. I still have it in my wallet. I well, keep it in my wallet. You know what? I'm going back to that. That's yeah. what we did last year. Yeah. All my little barn save sales yeah. and Duff's vintage finds into the mattress, into the mattress, yeah. and then when it was time to hit the road, boom. Exactly. Got some cash. Exactly. I got to go back to that. Yeah. I could store other people's cash for a small Oh, I'll give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of me <laughs> taking $2 a exactly. month, I could use your money. And then give you a couple bucks every month. Oh, would you invest it for me? Is like interest. It? I could give you interest every or month. Or like a Ponzi. And if I could get you enough of you doing me. that, <laughs> then I could fill up that account to the minimum they need, and then I wouldn't have to pay it. So you're talking about a Ponzi scheme? No, I'm just talking about a, a, like investing your no, money. No, no. Like a Ponzi scheme would be me taking everybody's money. Yeah doing stuff with it no, and no, as no. soon as someone wants their money back i have to have other people give me money to give you your money back yeah, yeah yeah no don't get me going on that yeah do you know i'm still part of the next level investments class action lawsuit out of kingston Remember i didn't that? even know you were 
<laughs> part of that in the first place. You never yeah. mentioned that before. No, next level investments. You got to Google was that? that. Was that a Ponzi? You, it was a tremendous Ponzi scheme. Yeah. Tremendous. Who was uh, who was the leader, ringleader? Couldn't tell you. Oh, okay. No, but I, I put a little bit of money in there mm. and gone. Absolutely gone. Jesus. They had, you know what it was? They were marketing themselves as a currency exchanging investment company. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they. Forex. Like that. Foreign exchange yeah. Kind of trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and they had, it was, I I got taken. Big Not time. to be confused with four eyes. Uh, what's that? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Anyways. You know, remember back in the day as kids, if you wore glasses. Oh, yeah, four eyes. They'd call yeah. you four gotcha, eyes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, no, I one of these days, too, I, I'm going to call them up and say, where are we on this? Because they did say there was a chance they'd pay some people back, some of their investments. Oh, God. I'm not holding yeah. my breath, but frig, you know? Anyways. How long ago was that? <sighs> oh, like 2005. No. you never this, seen your money No, again, no, no. This would have been maybe four, four or five years ago. Yeah, you're not seeing your money. I started invest. I just went nuts. I was putting money everywhere back then. <laughs> And then, but the problem was the friggin' uh, next level, their statements were showing some really nice returns, right? And then I think what happened, of course, right? Mm -hmm. And then as people, I just should have, because people did get paid back. Yeah. Like we know, that, like you never go in blind. I was recommended to this yeah, because yeah, of someone yeah. I knew yeah. that got huge paybacks because well, they were in early, Yeah, well, of course. Which yeah. is the definition exactly. of a Bonzi scheme. Exactly. His paybacks was my friggin' money. Yeah. Right? That's right. So anyways, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm quite curious uh, if they're, yeah, I don't know. You're never going to get nothing. I don't think so. Yeah. But even if it was pennies on the dollar, like I'd take, like I invested a thousand bucks. So you'd take like. If I could get 200 bucks, bucks back, uh, ten two, bucks. Ten, it'd take 25 cents. <laughs> I'd take 225 <laughs> to help me cover exactly. the CIBC monthly. Exactly. Uh, How much is that per year? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Look it up. It's an f- interesting story. Yeah, uh, look, what's it called again? Next level Next investments. Level investments. Kingston, okay. Ontario. I'll check it out. Yeah. yeah. It, it it makes me think of something that would make a great W five news story. Oh okay? yeah, yeah. Like exactly. how they dig deep and could be like a Madoff. It's Although I hear him it like very small scale. Yeah. yeah. Well, who knows? Like, the, I'm 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 super curious where yeah. they are. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm going to look that up. It's this time of year uh, we tend to review our finances, and oh. every year that friggin' pops even, up. I don't even want to look at But that just yeah. reminds me, a thousand bucks. Like, a thousand yeah. bucks is a thousand yeah. bucks. I have to work yeah. hard for a thousand yeah. bucks, you know? Money's and everything. That's a lot of shovels. Yeah. It's a lot of shovels to be Money sold. Money doesn't matter, man. Money doesn't matter. Yeah. Next level investments <laughs> where money doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. Well... Oh, man. Oh, so yeah, we better get going because I got a dad bods concert. You do? Yeah. Yes, your wife's out getting gotta, her hair done. Everybody's yes, going. Yeah, I got to prepare for that. Out in CP. CP, Carlton Place. Out oh, in Lanark. We never got an invite to that. It would have been fun. That's just for the wives. You should have invited more than just the wives. Though. I know. Made it a little. Maybe yeah. next time. Next time. See how it goes today, and then maybe we'll play like a pub, like a, on a Wednesday at noon. You should play the. Uh, you should play the neat cafe in Burnstown. Be a perfect little venue yeah, for you guys. Exactly. You're not gonna. No. <laughs> Things you should do, but don't. You should. You should find a little spot. Yeah. Yeah, we should actually. Nice. So yeah, I gotta go shovel and warm up my vocals. Okay. Not to mention. Oh, you're singing too. I'm the singer. Oh wow. Yeah. Not to mention, pick up my daughter. Well, you're doing the guitar and singing. Some guitar. I got my other guitarist. Okay. Anyway, who you know, by the way. What's yeah, of, co- of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 C T. C T, yeah. Um uh, oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. What uh what sort of songs? What what covers do you do? Oh so we uh play every fr- everything from uh the Sex Pistols. Okay. Punk. Any Green Day? We were working on a Green Day song, yes. Because I have the time. It? I have the time. This afternoon? No, I have the time. Oh, what is that a Green Day song? To listen to you whine. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Do you have no, the time? No, do you have the time? <laughs> yeah, that's I'm answering one, it, though. I have the time. Oh, you do have the time. Okay, I'm always gotcha. listening to you whine. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. About nothing and everything Thing all at, at once. once. We That's the song we were actually playing. That's a great tune. And um, <laughs> there was some, um, there was some, uh, what do you call it? Um, misunderstandings of misunderstandings the lyrics? Misunderstandings, not of the lyrics, of the chord. Uh, chords for the guitarists yeah it can't be easy 
to do a Green Day song. Like uh, they're just uh, basically four, five, six chords. That doesn't mean for the anything most part. to me. You're like a Russian novel right now. The 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 so tough to read. We were doing it, and then we might play that today. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, Any Dropkick Murphys? No. Oh, no. No, no Dropkick Murphys. No, nah, you couldn't do that, eh? No. Little uh, Tom Petty? Tom Petty. Little uh, Doors? The Doors? The Doors. Any little Brad Paisley? Little Jimi Hendrix? Brad Paisley, world's greatest guitarist. No Brad Paisley? No. People don't We're not really doing that. any country, nah, to be honest. That's too bad. I'd like to do a country song. We you do should. a rap song. Which one? It's by a guy named Chaos. Have you ever oh, heard I've Chaos? heard of Chaos. Yeah. I don't know if we'll play that today, though. <laughs> you guys sound prepared. You don't know what you're playing. Well, I was asked, what's the set list? Okay. And I'm like, hey, there's no set list, man. Okay. The dad bods just go with the flow. That's funny. And I said, that's what we're going to do. So is it going to be? I'll call it out. Yeah. Since I'm singing. Okay, cool. And, and they have to you be guys be ready. Okay. Yeah. Now, is it in a garage or is it it's in, in a basement? It's in the drummer's basement. Nice. Apparently, he has a stage in his basement. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Take some photos. I will. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to. Maybe they could plan an actual show with more guests next time. Yeah, um, we will. We will. Things you, the we dad bods, do. will do and will. And things that we should do but won't. Well, DDT, there you go. That's yeah. our first 2024 podcast. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for listening for the last hour and five six hour and minutes. a bit live from the Huntsman Studio yes. in Canada South. I, I don't mind doing it here. It yeah. sounds nice. It's 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 more comfortable than the F one fifty studio and less expensive. Less than expensive Scotty's. than Scotty's. Even though we love Scotty's, love Scotty's. Yeah. If there was a place to do this for breakfast, it would be Scotty's. It would be. Yeah. It's not like we're going to go to the morning owl and do it. No. no. That would be even more expensive. Oh, so can you imagine? Yeah. I wonder what their breakfast is up to now. It's a nice breakfast, but it was, it was like, like 15 eight, Oh, more, yeah. It was $18 uh, last summer, I think. Yeah. Well, money doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter. Yeah. I wonder if we should stop officially concluding it with that's cop car coffee. I because could take that right that there, out. right there, when we said money doesn't matter, that's a perfect ending. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that out. Cop car coffee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We need to make some changes. <laughs> that's one. We're not gonna we're not gonna stick to to the silly things uh, like exactly. that. We can keep some we'll good things, but it. we'll get rid of we'll get rid of some other stuff. Yeah.